Hello there, Philon Rescue. This is vlog 5 of my mission to Mars. And in this vlog we're going to look at the smelting plant and the electronics plant. Um, we have had a couple of um, technical problems that have warranted me having to go back to to Earth for a little while while we fix up a couple of little issues. Um, and we'll be blasting off at the end of this episode back to Earth and then um, in a week or so's time we will be coming back with some more on our mission to Mars. We just have to do a couple of little tweaks and adjustments and it will all be up and running again. But unfortunately, it will be best served done back from from Earth. You will notice some changes when we do come back. On uh, some minor changes, most of the things will be more or less the same. But of course, time would have moved on a little bit, so we would things will have progressed a little bit. But uh, we'll show you all that once we get back. In any case. So we're going to now take a couple of, well, we're going to take our product from the sluice and we're going to deliver it to the smelting plant and get that sorted out. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put up my second electricity plant just to increase up electricity pr production. We do have quite a bit of uh, straw in in reserve so I thought well let's get electricity so vital for us and as we get bigger and our production start ramping up we're going to need more electricity to get our overdrives um, going. So let's just get another one going up I think it'll fit in quite nicely right next to the other one and then we'll just loop around this sunflower field well it's sunflower now it might be something else at the later stage but um, the sunflower to the to the storage to the storage area and sort of pretty much our in and out of collecting electricity not too much of a problem, all sorted. So we'll just nip around, go and pick up some more straw and get the second production going. I think we we should have oh, about a quarter of a million litres of, um, of straw in here that can just go into the, into the power plant soon as I can find it of course. There we go. 343,000 litres. It produces, well they produce fairly slow, fairly, fairly accurately and we get, it, we get enough. So far we, the one is supplying enough for our needs. But we look into the future here so we can never produce too much electricity. Well, I would imagine we have to be careful that we don't overproduce as well but if we've got two plants we can create our own little national grid and we can switch them on and off as when as and when required so yeah we'll just put the one load in get that all activated and then we'll get back to our sluice and transferring of product from there to the smelting plant and then from the smelting plant to the electronics plant where I've been having a, a few issues with the with the uh, delivery with the trigger with the triggers but um, found them pretty hard to find but we'll get that that will be all sorted out I presume in the in the work that we are going to be done once once we're back on Earth. 
Right, off we go. Just using this little electric vehicle. It's pretty slow though. Put the marker up there, there it is. Pretty much on the other side of the of the map from here. So we'll sprint along and uh, go and make the deliveries. Crops are coming up nicely because of course all the while while we've been doing this we've been working on the fields. I've had uh, plenty of workers going around harvesting and um, liming and planting and basically doing all the all the arable stuff to keep things going right so here we are at the smelting plant I think that's where we get stuff out I'm gonna say that's where we put liquids in where the pumping station is so that's pretty self-explanatory the smelting plant is is brilliant it, um, it looks fantastic the lighting changing color and showing the workings through all the the grids as we go up as we go up to activate things um, on top of the plant you'll get to see it operating it looks absolutely fantastic let's go straight up the stairs here oops couldn't get myself uh, orientated on this onto the stairs so this is where the operation hub is Right, so we've got titanium ore in there now. So we need the magnesium ore, methane. The methane, I think, comes from the rock plant. Silicone. And then we need electric charge for the overdrive. Actually, we need electric charge for, for the normal recipe as well, by the looks of things. Yeah, you do. You can produce glass, so we need glass for the for the electronics factory. We need uh, the enri enriched magnesium. So the enriched magnesium that doesn't have an overdrive by the looks of things, but I would imagine that's pretty much a byproduct from the other two. For making the other two products I'm not too worried about that let's get the rest of the stuff in and get this producing yeah, so I've abandoned that small little electric vehicle <laughs> just too slow given the distance so we'll put the JCB fast track on there problem is with this trailer it takes such a big quantity it looks like there's pretty much nothing in there <laughs> in any event we'll get it there we'll get it there quicker this is the most important thing you know the way we've set ourselves up here we've you know everything is about getting between places quickly and doing jobs as quickly as possible I think we even got a little bit of air there, didn't we? As we went over the little bump. <laughs> well, here we are. Let's get this in. So this is uh, this is all coming from the sluice, of course. 
so the production line is basically mine the rock, crush the rock, get the depleted Martian stone, goes into the sluice where it gets washed and makes uh, magnesium ore and titanium ore, was it? Um, forgotten now. <laughs> and silicon. That then comes into the smelting plant, that's all smelted together and then makes the raw materials for for um, the electronics plant and we'll see those in a little while actually right so it's silicone I think I saw silicone there, 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 we, go. Here we, go. there we go let's load that up We'll get that over to the to the smelting plant. Why didn't I activate that? It's also gonna look like a drop in the ocean in this uh, trailer. skip ahead and we're here. I think that's a fuel processing plant in the beginning, in, in the beginning, in front of this. Um, we have started uh, putting in um, sunflower and soya beans I think into there. Uh, we still need to put in canola and we should be able to uh, produce biodiesel but that'll probably be when we I'll show you that once we once we get back from from earth and we've got everything changed up you can just see all the steam coming off there as you not sure this is actually the safest place to be standing on top of all this heat coming from the smelting plant. Just a brilliant mod. So what are we, we still, we're still looking for methane, so we're still going to get methane and electrical charging. So the methane, um, if I'm not mistaken, comes from the rock crusher. So we'll get back and go and check that out, bring that over. Electric charge, of course, we know where that comes from. Get the overdrive, might as well get them activated. See, one of my workers has just finished one of his tasks. So we are dipping in and out of, um, of this whole operation. Right, so we've I brought over the the electric charge, and I brought over the magnesium and uh, not magnesium, the methane from the rock crusher. I just lost the. The actual file for it. I might be able to show it to you a little bit later. Let's, we'll see. Right, so the glass doesn't auto load onto the onto the pallets, so we'll just load it onto the back of the of the trailer, and we'll get this through to the to the electronics factory. Once we're back uh, from from Earth, we'll just probably go through this whole operation again. So 
let's get on over to the electronics factory Here we are at the electronics factory and uh, as I said I was having a little bit of a problem well that was a bit of a driving problem it wasn't the actual problem I was having I was just trying to find the triggers so the triggers on the um, on this grate couldn't get it to to deliver off the back of the of the trailers did eventually find that if I manually offloaded them and held them up quite high above the top edge of this grate that I was able to get them in. I actually, you just caught a gl glimpse of it there, I actually put in a second plant just to see if it was, if it would make any difference but it was just a bit of a long shot. I mean, uh, I probably would want two plants in there. We have produced more raw material. I'm just going to see if this reverses back onto there as well. Oops. sometimes the triggers are just just a little bit off there I think it's probably got quite a few triggers on this one input here for the, all the different product yeah just to, just to show that I was having a problem with the I eventually got everything everything in but it took a little bit of man manipulation and that's one of the main reasons that we came back to Earth is to get these couple of little things changed and fixed up. I spent quite a bit of time <laughs> to trying to get this sorted out just couldn't get it to take anywhere This of course was a, a demo, a demo um, file of life on the, the um, Mars mission as I, as I said from the beginning so, um, so the, these things have probably been fixed up in the, in the released version that's what I'm simulating by going back to to Earth is just uh, to get that those new files loaded and then uh, look they will of course need um, new saves so that's basically what's happening right so we're just going to take these down to the second factory and just see if we can play around there and find out where the trigger point is and once we found that we'll we'll get these two productions filled with their raw materials and we'll just show you the end production. And then once we get back from the from Earth and everything has been sorted out and we've we've got the little bits and pieces sorted out, we will um We'll go through this, 
this process in a little bit more depth. But that's what the basic electronic parts look like. These are the blank PCBs and together, together those will make a motherboard and I think in this facility here I have all the productions going that's where they should come out let's have a quick look and see so I think I've got all the all the raw materials are full and then I've got the electronic parts and the blank PCBs in this in this um, factory um, distributing back into the factory so that they can make the motherboards and we've got 302 litres of motherboards being produced so we'll just wait for that to make up a full pallet load so we can show you what that looks like shouldn't be too long So while we're doing that we can just go through the operation again for motherboards so the motherboards themselves just need the electronic parts and the and the blank PCBs the electronic parts and the blank PCBs require silicon glass uh, titanium alloys the electric charge and we should just about be ready to get the the first load of um, well the first pellet of motherboards out it's a fairly slow production pro process for the motherboards but that's to be expected I have sped, sped up time quite a bit, so just to uh, let you see. Of course, these factories also produce carbon mono monoxide, as do all of them. We haven't gone through that yet. When we get back next week or the week after, as soon as I can. Um, we will um, we will look at that look at dealing with the carbon monoxide and put it into the into the oxygen oxygen generators there we go we've got less than 100 left to do it's turned into night so that should be fairly nice and highlighted delivery of our first load of motherboards coming up pretty soon there we go that's what we've been waiting for our motherboards fantastic fantastic another big plus for this map once the little bits and pieces have been ironed out it'll all work out pretty well well time for me to go and start getting ready to drive up to the to the to the Mars rocket just go and book my passage let them know that I'm here and then of course because I'm the boss I can just drive up there and climb on board just got to let them know not to let the rocket go before I get there. <laughs> oh dear. It's not, it's not too much of a problem. Right, let's get, let's get in our little buggy and off we go. Shouldn't take us too long to get up there. We'll take a trip around the
around the biodome in the dark. All the lights shining up. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, we are just about just at the bottom of the of the hill going up to the Mars rocket, freight to Earth. So we're part of the freight going back now. When we came in, we came in on the shuttle, but um, decided to uh, go back on the on the rocket. We'll just park. We'll leave our buggy up here for now. There it is, all getting sorted out. Just radioing back to the control room, letting them know that I'm here. We'll jump into the rocket and then we can just take a view from the control pad or the control room of me lifting off and heading off back to Earth. Should be coming up pretty soon. There we go. Ignition has taken place and lift off. There we go. And we'll see you in a couple of months' time, a couple of weeks' time, in game time. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!